So we move to the long jump. Kuharczyk of Poland has been a great week for them. This T20, Kuharczyk with a solid start, 5.46, has a in the lead at the moment, just ahead of Rostowski of Croatia with 5.20. That definitely looks an improvement, and the board couldn't have been used any better. She's the reigning World and Paralympic Games champion, Karolina Kuharczyk. 5.71, and she increases the lead as a championship record. Over we go to the women's long jump T20 final then. This is Michaela Rostowski of Croatia. <laughs> Decent effort from Rostovsky. Still a bit of room to work with on the board, should she require it, as this competition moves on. Attempt number two is 5.68. Good effort from her, good enough for second. Poland Kuharczyk with that championship record. Putting her in pole position, 5.71 in the second round, and she's gone a good distance out again. But the pressure's really being put on her now. Rostovsky of Croatia with a 5.68. Her lead is down to three centimetres. She's needed a championship record to stay out in front. She's the world record holder from the World Championships in Lyon three years ago. And she is a long jump specialist. Two world titles and the Paralympic crown. She's reigning world and Paralympic champion, and she's our leader here, 5.65. This is Minakova, a fourth round effort. Looked like she might not have got that one quite right. Red flag for Minakova, 5.27 means she remains in third. Now, Kuharche in the long jump. The championship record has put her in good stead at the moment. 5.71, the three centimetre lead over Rostovsky, but that looks a solid effort by Kuharche. She's keeping her standard up and she's having to. 6.09, that world record of hers from uh, three years ago. Memorable victory in Lyon on a baking hot lunchtime. And still was able to. Uh, bring out brilliant results and there's another one 583 she's extended the championship record and the lead is now 15 centimeters over Istoski. Anna Felipe of Portugal who we've uh, seen in the sprints semi-finalist in the 400 meters bronze in the triple jump when it was run in Doha but it's not being run here she was athlete of the championships at the INS World Indoors in Ancona this year, which was uh, run, uh, if you like, under an IPC license, but as uh, a different organization. Oh, she gave away over 20 centimeters there. She's 28 centimeters off a medal. This is her fifth round attempt. A championship record we saw a few moments ago, 583 from Kuharczyk. Broken the championship record uh, three times today now. 5.01, and had she got that on the board, she'd have been a centimetre or two away, possibly from bronze. She's fifth, Anna Felipe. Jump, and this is Minikova of Russia. 5.27, her season's best, but she's still in contention here for something a little bit higher. That was the second round attempt. There were only two athletes that cleared five meters in the opening round, but Minakova was still five centimeters off that. She's been in contention all the way, then went way out to 5.27 in the second round, which really made Rostovsky and Kuharczyk think. Minakova, who was silver in the long jump two years ago, big fan of Daria Kleshina, uh, the ace Russian long jumper who's uh, finally begun to take up major medals now. 5.04 for Minikova, she stays in third place for that season's best. And as you can see, again, fine crowds here, and I should tell you as well, below us, 
uh, just over the finish line. That's the special wheelchair viewing stand, and there have been dozens and dozens here. Various athletes who've been uh, in action during the week and uh, who are done, finally taking their time to get to watch all the uh, final day's action. Now, we still have four field events to wrap up and lots of uh, medal ceremonies as well. Lots and lots of medal ceremonies, but thankfully lots of field events to keep us going. This is Michaela Rostotsky. Now her fifth attempt, 5.68 in the second round. Matching a season's best, 5.71 her lifetime best. Needs to pull that out and add on another 17 centimeters in order to take the gold away. Rostotsky, the world triple jump champion, the outgoing European champion in the long jump and the former world champion from Christchurch in 2011 from Perla in Croatia, and uh, they too have a uh, good history of jumping, Blanka Vlasic in the uh, high jump. Sylvia Babic, I think, is still the uh, IAAF long jump record holder for that country. The 5.37 doesn't improve, she stays in second place. Guhacic remains in the hot seat. Karolina Kuharczyk once more for Poland. On the brink of more history. On the brink of a very good attempt. 5.83, the championship record for her in round four. She's edging closer towards her world record of 6.09. Poland now have 20 gold medals. And she aiming to make it another. And the way she's going, she will, because she's improved her championship record by four centimetres, 5.87. She's set to be Poland's 22nd champion here and their 50th medal winner. Deep in the final round, and this is Kristina Minakova. She's held off the rest, it'll be third at best, it will be a medal for her. For the 19-year-old, she turns 20 on the 1st of September. Silver in Swansea, bronze at least here. Needs 40 centimetres on top of that lifetime best she achieved a couple of rounds ago. It'll be brilliant if she could do something massive in the final round. I think she's disimproved a bit there, it'll be bronze anyway, it'll be another major championship medal for Kristina Minakova. She was fourth in the long jump in Doha. She'll be among the list of candidates in Doha. Just look at how worn that board has got here in Grosseto during the week's action with so much action in the pit. Five twenty-seven. she matches a lifetime best but she stays in third. So the women's long jump will be decided here. Wysowski of Croatia is the only person who can deny Poland another gold medal here in the form of Karolina Kuharczyk, the two in a row world champion. Wysowski, the reigning European champion, has she done enough to retain her title? Kuharczyk, the reigning Paralympic champion. This would be the full set. I'm not sure rosowski has been able to pull it out of the bag here. Barely used the board, gave 17, 18 centimetres away. 5.68 in round two. She's given it a good go in order to hold on to her crown but it may not be enough. 21 gold medals for Poland, and a 22nd about to be confirmed, and there it is, Rutowski, the silver for Croatia, and Kuharczyk is the European champion, and she's got the full set of titles now. She's the reigning Paralympic world and European title champion, and she's loving it. And there's still a brilliant crowd here. Track action is over. Field action continues. Kuharczyk way out again beyond 550. 
And if that's, we'll say, 570, it will mean that her four best attempts have gone beyond Ristovsky's best. And you cannot really expect to do any better than that. Real elegance about this athlete. And Poland are one of those nations in the uh, T20 discipline, which was revived in the past six years. It's Polska, it's gold. <laughs> 576. And Kuhatsik. Championship record. And she'll be kissing a gold medal soon, too. 587 for Kuhacek, that's the gold for Paula Rutowski, silver for Croatia, and Winnikova, the bronze for Russia. Santos, close, but not enough to a second medal.